First thing, create a new composition. Let's name this text animation. I'm doing a 1920 by 1080 composition at 30 frames per second, but it's going to depend on your preferences. So now let's create a new solid, a black solid. I'm going to call it background. Now we're going to select our text to, and we're going to create um, subscribe, um, some kind of text here, whatever you want to. I'm going to turn on my proportional grid down here. I'm going to place this just right in the middle for our paragraph options, make sure that you have all that centered. Okay. Now let's go over, create a new shape layer. Let's bring that down here. Let's rename to block. We're going to select our shape layer. We're going to select here in the middle, click and drag and select control. So now you have a block under your text, underneath your text. And you know, it's all, it all came from the center. So now we're going to select our anchor point move to, we're going to move our anchor point to the left right here. You can snap this so you can select exactly the point that you want to. Now let's press S to select our scale properties. Let's turn on our keyframes. Let's turn off the proportion. Now we're going to set our X to zero. Now let's go over 30 frames. So one, two, three by pressing Ctrl Shift right arrow and now let's make a new keyframe let's press f9 to ease that frame let's go to our graph tool now the first frame i want to be zero percent and the first second or 30th frame i want to be a hundred percent and now we're going to select all of this and let's drag it back like this so now we have a very smooth animation going on here very good so now we're going to duplicate that block bring it over here. Now let's go back to our layers. Let's press as again, and let's turn off our keyframes. But remember that you have to be, you know, right in the end of your composition instead of here in the middle, otherwise it's not going to work. Let's delete this. And now let's parent this to our block here in the bottom. And let's go to our subscribe text layer. Let's go to our track mat and let's select alpha mate. So now we're using that top layer as a mask for our second layer, which is also the same layer as this one. So, you know, now our text is following our block text. Very good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do subscribe. Let's open this up. Let's go to animate and now position. Let's move our position Y until our text cannot be seen, which in that case is going to be 200, I believe. Yes, that's true. So now let's go over and open range selector, advanced, and instead of square, we're going to choose ramp up. So now our text is going to have some easing in and out while it's being animated. And the other thing that we're going to do is to go into our first frame, change this offset to minus hundred. If you want to understand here what's happening, if I move my offset, you can see that now we can animate each character individually. So if I go to my first frame, and turn on our offset at minus 100%, and then move to exactly one second, I can go to 100%. Very good, but this is a bit too slow for my likings. So we're going to change our easy low to 100%. And there you have it. Now we have both our text animation and also the block animation looking very smooth. Now we're going to press U twice to close our properties. Now we're going to select our three first layers. We're just going to exclude the background. We're going to go to right click, crack on pose, and we're going to name this like text, text, and we're going to select move all attributes to the new composition. What we're going to do now, we're going to do our effects and presets. We're going to select transform, bring that over here. And here in this queue, we're going to set this to minus 10. And there you have it, your animation is all ready.